why the fitness owners, I have great confidence in them spreading people out when they're doing a workout, doing this additional sanitation that we've all been, you know, uh, learned how to do now and taking those precautions with hand sanitation and having the, the folks working in the facilities wearing masks and, and other things. And we'll be putting those guidelines out. And listen, if people don't want to go, Martha, they don't have to. If people don't want to open the gym, right. they don't have to. But when you close somebody's business down and take the livelihood of that individual and those employees, and they are literally at the face of losing everything, yeah. I'm willing to give them the benefit of the doubt. I think right. they're going to do the right I thing, and we're going to continue to focus on testing and contact tracing well, and all the other things. You know, everybody in this country is going to be watching your state uh, because you're one of the most aggressive and the earliest in this process. And you've got, you know, mayors in Albany and mayors in Atlanta who are very much against it. So you guys are almost going to be, you know, and I, and I hope it, I hope that well, you I, are making I would the right decision that you, and that it keeps take, people healthy. Yeah. Well, I would argue if you take out Albany, out Albany out of the situation right now, our, our state is a much different place. Because of a person going to a funeral a month and a half ago when people didn't know that that was not a good thing to do, Albany's had more deaths, I'm pretty sure in saying this, than Atlanta has. So, you know, you have to be relative with the data that you're looking at. You know, I'm looking at it every day, every hour of every day. And I know in Albany, their hospital down there is now taking patients from other areas. So that tells you we're in a good space down there because we reacted quickly to a really bad situation and we're prepared to continue to do that around the rest of our state. Yep. I mean, very quickly, if you can, you're the home of the Delta Airlines hub in Atlanta. So how are you going to deal with, with Delta Airlines there? And we know the president's talking about closing the borders for immigration. Are you concerned that, you know, you're going to get your house in order and people are just going to keep, you know, flying through Atlanta and bringing things from, from other places? Well, I would tell people the great state of Georgia has taken a lot of people from around the country. Uh, our state, when nobody else would, was taking cruise ship passengers in a very tough situation and we were glad to work with the president the vice president to do that we've worked with our airport as we've had other cruise passengers that have been flown into our state and we had to transport them to other places and i can tell you that is a well-run airport they handled those situations great we we have a great communication with them their general manager is on my task force and uh, we'll continue to deal with those type situations working with the president working with the vice president the task force the guidance that we're getting from cdc and that's what we're, what we're going to be asking our georgia business owners to do as well as our hard-working employees in this state well um we we certainly wish you and the people of georgia luck and health and we hope that this sort of early experiment and reopening is hugely successful because everybody in the country wants to get back open, wants to get well, back to work. Um, but we thank, certainly thank hope you, that we Martha, don't do and I would just tell you, too, this is a measured, measured approach. All right. Uh, Governor, I hope you'll come back and let us know how, how it's going. We'd like to hear a follow-up from you in a week or so. We'll do it. Thank you. All right.